anyway, but yeah. Uh, so Jill, yeah, thank you. I'm so glad that you came uh, to chat with me today and I would love it if you could share a little bit about your story, about your journey, how you got into microgreens, what drew you to them, what was going on in your life, whatever you want to share, kind of okay. let us know your, yeah, where did it start for you? Okay. Uh, well, I have been interested in the health, uh, food health, planet health, uh, all that, um, since I lost my mom in 2001, kind of started my journey, um, of organics and eating healthy. I didn't learn about microgreens really. I became aware of them in 2018 and I don't even know how it showed up on my feed. Probably. I probably said it like in conversation and my phone heard it. I have no idea. Anyway, stuff started showing up on my phone and kind of took me down that rabbit hole. I was at the time had just started a uh, flower farm. So I was working full time. Um, I have an office job full time and, but I have a love of ornamental horticulture. I worked at a garden center for about 10 years and um, moved to the Tulsa area and, um, still wanted to keep my hands in the dirt you know I loved it and so I started to do flower farming and was kind of learning about microgreens also at the same time but more as a an idea for my youngest daughter to start her own business she was more in the food industry and wanted to be an entrepreneur and I was like hey listen to this about microgreens look how healthy they are and I really didn't know too much about it other than I had heard it was, you know, kind of a low cost startup. It was quick turnaround from seed to harvest and it's your own business and, um, and they're healthy. That was kind of all I knew. It was really cool, but I was knee deep in flower farming, but I knew at some point because I want to grow everything that I would want to grow them someday. So I kind of tucked it back here. I'm going to figure out this flower farming and I'll pull it back out one day and start it myself. And I didn't know when that was going to be, but I just kind of kept learning about it. And so that was 2018, fast forward to 2021. Um, and I had been flower farming. I had my process down. I had uh, wedding designers using my flowers. And so I, had cold calling down and building mm. relationships. I felt good about that. And uh, 2021 happened and my marriage ended and I knew I was going to be moving. Um, I decided not to stay in the Tulsa area. Um, my kids were all living here in Greenville, South Carolina. So, I, and my grandkids. And so I decided I wanted to move where family was. And so, um, in between deciding to end the marriage and moving, I bought your course and I had just been watching your page. I had been, um, I knew it was going to have to be microgreens is what I was going to have to do because I didn't have land. And so I thought vertical farming indoors was the answer and it was going to be microgreens. So I pulled that back out and uh, bought your course and started learning everything I could. I was like a sponge. I hadn't made a single purchase of the seed or the rack or anything um, because I was packing, but I was like, this is going to be it. This is going to be it. I'm excited. I'm going to do this. And so I moved in uh, into my townhouse in uh, February. And in March, I sowed my first microgreens tray. <laughs> and it was just, I was hooked. I was in love. And, um, I tried the easy ones first and, uh, took some samples out and I now, so we're, that was in March. It's now September and I have two restaurants, um, that are standing orders awesome. and getting ready to launch my zero waste home delivery um, program. 
So I wanted to go at it slowly because I wasn't sure. I wanted to fit in my lifestyle. So mm -hmm. I still work full time. I was able to transfer with the same company I'm with. So I have a full time job. I do this on the side. My plan was to grow this so that it would replace my income, but I want to do it slowly. I didn't mm -hmm. want to like bite off more than I can chew and overwhelm myself. I yeah. still wanted to be able to babysit. I wanted to be able to go hiking. And so I'm, it doesn't take that much time out of your day. Like I get up in the morning and I go water my microgreens and I talk to them and we have a conversation in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> at night I uh water them some more and harvest what I need to and it doesn't take that much time and it's very fulfilling it's very um it has been good therapy for me it's just um to see something turn over that fast and life and um you know you can provide something to a chef or your customers, right. you know, within, I mean, less than a month, they all take different lengths of time, but, um, less than a month, mm -hmm. you have a product that you've nurtured and put love into, and it's healthy for someone. And it's, um, you know, going to make their life better, hopefully. I mean, that's the goal. Yeah. And so that's kind of where I'm at and I'm excited for what's coming and, um, I can just see it growing. So yeah, it's so, it's so exciting. I love your story because it's from the outside and probably from the inside too. It felt like this is not the right time, right? When you, when you invested in a program, you were dealing with big changes in your personal life. You were dealing with uncertainty in the world, right? All of us yeah. were yeah. a move, <laughs> yeah. uh, all of these things. And yet I'm just find it really inspiring that rather than saying, I don't have time. It's not the right time. You saying, this is something I want to do. I'm going to figure it out and taking that step and doing what you could by watching, learning, even before you could start growing and then starting it small. I think that that is so encouraging and just inspiring for other people who also feel like life is a little crazy and feel like maybe they have to put their own dreams on the back burner and um the problem with that is they can just stay there forever um because there won't be a time that opens up and feels perfect to start something new but you can start it you and i are similar in that we did start kind of small yeah while working um with the plan to to transition and grow over time which can take some of the pressure off so you really can love it and enjoy it and as you, as you grow the business. Um, it's, I'm super excited that you're uh, wanting to do the zero waste subscription program. I think it's going to be amazing um, that you have some customers already. Um, where are flowers? I'm just curious. Are you, are yes. you going to be uh, doing flowers as well? Mm -hmm. So I couldn't let that go. Right. Um, Cause I just love that so much. My whole life purpose, I feel like is to save the world. So the zero waste make people happy and smile. That's the flowers and healthy. That's the microgreens. So, um, my daughter has a house with a yard. Okay. So we grow the edible flowers there and that's what we're Beautiful. focusing on is the edible flowers and there's plenty there. And that has actually been huge. Um, we've had a lot of requests for that. Yeah. And so that <laughs> took me off I wasn't prepared for that because um, it wasn't that big in Tulsa. I offered it in Tulsa, but it wasn't quite, um, people didn't know, like know about it. Yeah. And so, but um, here it seems to be more of a thing. Yeah. And so that's exciting. And so we're going to ramp that up. Like we just dabbled this yeah. year. Like, let's just see, you know, and we're like, oh, whoa. Okay. Okay. We got to ramp this up. So will be probably doubling that fun um, yeah they do they brings people so much joy they bring me yeah. a lot of joy as the grower too I'm just learning also and yes you've got the nutrient dense microgreens which is just helping to promote health but we know when people start eating those regularly and then those gorgeous flowers on top of the beautiful micro it's just it really is uh such a 
mood booster to yes. uh, be part of the growing and for our the people we're growing for for them as consumers to feel like you are putting something good in their life in their world um yeah. i think that's great uh, yeah. i know a lot of people who might be uh listening to your story are kind of in that place that you were back before march when maybe you'd heard about microgreens they were sort of in the back of your mind uh, and just sort of trying to figure out how to get started with it. So I know that you chose to invest in my program. I'm so glad because it gave me a yes. chance to get to know you and see what you're doing. And again, just be inspired by uh, all the progress you've made while working and moving and all of that. Um, but what would you, if you could, this kind of putting you on the spot, but what would you say to someone who is kind of on the fence, maybe feeling overwhelmed. A lot of people reach out wondering, do I need to invest in a program? Do I not? There's so much information out there. Um, I'm curious what your what your take would be on it. Yeah, I feel like, and I didn't have a lot to spend, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like it was the best money I've ever spent because having the modules, I mean, you can do it at your own pace, so you can still have a life, but I would encourage anyone to please like invest in yourself. Like mm -hmm. I, it just increases your self-confidence and your trust in yourself. Sorry, you probably hear my dog back there. Um, invest in yourself. It will increase your self-confidence, your knowledge. Uh, you will come off as, um, knowledgeable gain you'll gain trust of anybody you talk to the more knowledge you have so mm -hmm. it's worth the investment in yourself to do mm -hmm. that and not only that the knowledge you get it's step by step you you can't fail it's like almost fail proof and then the community that comes with that the support that comes with that your live coaching your the group the i mean everybody wants to see you succeed yeah and so you're not in this alone yeah. and there's so many directions you can take the business to fit in your lifestyle so once you sit down and figure out this is what, how i want my life to look right now you can fit microgreens in mm -hmm. in whatever way however big you want to take it or however small you want to keep it and grow it slow mm -hmm. or if you want to grow it fast like it's the world is your oyster. You can make it whatever you want it to be. Yeah. And so that's the beauty of it. And um, your, your help through all of this has just, I mean, you were with me through the whole thing. And some of your posts just made me cry because you just are so relatable and you understand, you know, and you just, I don't know, you just said what you, what I needed to hear at the time. And so I just, I'm very appreciative to you. Um, I just felt like you got me through and it was very uplifting and very encouraging and I never felt by myself. So I'm so glad to hear that you, I am, <laughs> I am thrilled. Yeah. Thrilled to have you in the community and anyway. thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your story. I'm so honored to be here and thank you for having me. <laughs>